I'm Thomas Raja, and I want to talk about Panel to VR. Uh, <clears throat> first, a little introduction. What is Panel to VR? It's a regular desktop app for Windows, Mac, and Linux. You can create virtual tours. Uh, you can export them to HTML5 or Google Street View. And you can create uh, video walkthroughs a little bit on the history. Uh, the first version was released in uh, 2007. We had a major new design as a redesign of the user interface in uh, 2015. Um, the application is available in many, many languages. Um, it works with uh, gigapixel, Im <coughs> gigapixel images and it can uh, work with a lot of different formats, including uh, HDR. And we have video support since 2007. Um, our HTML5 features are custom skins. You, um, the skins also support components, so you can download pre-made um, components from the internet or uh, store your components yourself. Uh, all skins can be responsive, so they work on the desktop and mobile devices as well. Um, you can embed videos. Um, you can use the actual sound, so if you move around, the uh, audio gets louder depending on where you look at, and we also support lens flares. Um, so next I want to talk about um, the features we added in the latest version that's currently available. So the major new thing was uh, Street View export. Um, we are now certified as uh, Street View workflow ready, so this means we can, you can upload your virtual tours to Street View. You can also download and modify already made tours with, uh, that you created with other tools, or I don't know, did 2015 or whatever. Uh, and you can also delete images directly on Google. But um, we also added um, some um, new features that are very useful for Street View, but also for uh, regular use. So the first is a new uh, patch. Uh, a blur patch, so you can just add a new patch um, to your panorama and select the uh, blur type, or you can just use a, a keyboard shortcut so it's even quicker and just select the size for the area you want to blur. And now you have the faces blurred and nobody can tell who's Jürgen or Markus. Uh, um, of course, um, sometimes you also want to remove stuff. So um, here on this image, I'm in the bottom. And blurring wouldn't really help, so I really want to remove myself. Um, so we introduced the blur cover. This brings in the pixels that are around the center. And we also blur a little bit at the center. It's like still you can see that something's going on, but it's, uh, it's not as disturbing as if I would just blur it. But of course we can even do better. So we can use uh, Photoshop. Uh, in this case, I edit the master node, so this means all the changes I do are applied to the whole tour. I create a large patch area, extract uh, all the images for the whole tour, and then um, you have a folder with, with all the, the uh, areas, and then I can just use Photoshop. Here um, I record a Photoshop action. Um, I create a selection for this area that I want to fix. Um, then just do a content aware fill so that I'm removed. And then I save the image as the last step in the action, stop the action. Now I can process all the patches, the nadir, nadir patches of the tour with this action. So I just use the patch mode, uh, hit start. So Photoshop loads all the images, applies the action I've chosen, like the content aware fill. And because I didn't close the images, they are still available in Photoshop, so I can, you can fine tune them or do other things. But because I saved the images, uh, Pano 2 detects those changes and just fills in 
um, the, the patches from Photoshop as nadir. So those are um, features that are already available in the current version. So next, I want to talk about version 6 as a sneak peek. Um, we did a lot of work with uh, gigapixels. Uh, we add now um, multi-resolution TIFF files. So if, um, th those are regular TIFF files, but enhanced with extra information that makes loading uh, much, much, much faster. So I'm now dragging a gigapixel image. And you can see it's uh, available instantly. Um, this image has 20 gigapixels. So you can zoom in a lot. You can use all the features of Panod VR, like you can uh, change projections um, and use it as a little planet. And uh, this doesn't need any cache files or anything. It's just uh, loaded right away. This also uh, improves patching a lot. So you can just uh, zoom in in an area. Then add a patch, um, do the same thing as before, extract the patch, uh, do a continent where fill. And as soon as you hit save, Panel TVR detects automatically the changes in the file name and the boot is gone. So another improvement is large tours. So here yeah, I'm dragging in a tour image. You can see it while the tour is still loading. I can interact. I could, um, I don't know, fix the geolocation already. You can see the pins are popping up on the map. Um, and those are more than 1,000 images under 15 seconds on the first import. Next improvement uh, is the animation tool. Um, we now support um, multiple um, sequences. So we can uh, store different walkthroughs within the same project. Um, we can um, have uh, custom flying effects. Um, and uh, the animation tool is now also integrated in the main window. This means you can use it in a tool screen setup, which was not possible in, in version 5. And here are some examples. Like this is the gigapixel image from before. <coughs> That's not playing. Uh, why is it not playing? Okay. So you can use the uh, protection changes, um, zoom in and highlight different areas of the images. Um, You can also use this um, with uh, video panoramas. So a little bit. Um, the, you can use those animations as an um, uh, auto-rotation, so it's still interactive, so people can just stop the animation and interact with it, or you can export this as a video file uh, and upload it to YouTube, or use it in any other means. Or you can also use uh, the animation to make walkthroughs to a, a virtual tour, like uh, this was done here. So you could just uh, turn around, zoom in to the next location, make um, uh, crossfade, and you can also use protection changes to make it a little bit more interesting. So. Um, a new tool um, is floor plans. So <laughs> uh, you could use floor plans in version 5, but it was ju basically just in the skin, but now it's like really integrated in the whole software. So you can just um, take a bunch of nodes um, and uh, put them on the floor plan. 
and positioned them um, where the images were taken. And um, you can also um, adjust the, the placement, like you can select a bunch of uh, nodes, like rotate the, the, the sub-constellation, move them around, or um, scale the layout. And of course, you can also link the nodes together. You can do this manually, or uh, you can just do uh, an auto-linking. You have different modes, like sequential, but here are just, just uh, closest nodes, and all nodes are linked together. And after <laughs> Of course, afterwards you can fine tune it, add connections or remove, but the basic layout is done. Um, and then, of course, you can geolocate this whole thing. So, this means um, you just search um, the actual location, um, then you can uh, overlay this floor plan onto the map, um, rotate it, uh, and uh, scale it to the size. And when you're done, and then you're done, you just exit the mode, and then all those nodes uh, get GPS coordinates. So because you, those images are taken inside, you don't have GPS, so you, you cannot export it to, for example, Street View, but this way they are georeferenced. Another new feature in version 6 will be maps. Um, we uh, support OpenStreetMaps, uh, Mapbox, and custom URLs. So, for example, in, in Austria, we have uh, BaseMaps, which is a government service. We have very high resolution uh, map data, and you can also use those for, uh, as maps in the skin. Um, of course, you can uh, also use the floor plans in the skin. You can add custom markers. We now support two chip uh, APIs, uh, Google API and, and LeafJS. Um, and uh, the floor plans are also multi-resolution, so you can uh, use really high-detailed floor plans. So a quick summary. Uh, version 6 will uh, improve gigapixel support, can work with really large tools, improved animation, new floor plan tool, and it uh, has the maps and it will be available in the third quarter. We have to fine tune some things. The last thing, uh, pricing. Um, Pano 2 vr is 99 euros the standard version, 299 the pro version. This will stay the same for version 6. If you purchased Pano 2 vr version 5 in 2017, the upgrade to version 6 will be free. And otherwise, it's 29 and 79. And here's the download link. Thank you. All right, so okay. we've got the first and question. Any oh, questions? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got you covered. I got you covered, man. So <laughs> I've got a series of questions. The first is about uh, uh, the um, high resolution images. I uh, see so you can export a video from high resolution from gigapixel. Yeah. It can be done even from flat gigapixel. From what? From, from a flat gigapixel. Um, I think yeah. You can. I think you can combine. Yeah. Yeah, it works. You can uh, combine flat images and regular panoramic images into a tour, and then make a whole fly through. Um, so you can have a. I don't know. Indiana Jones style <laughs> map with. Yeah. So if I have big map, I can make a video zooming in, zooming out, and uh, and moving. Yeah, that's great. Second question is uh, when I uh, geotag the image the way you just showed, mm -hmm. uh, applying the floor plan to the maps, um, are also the original JPEGs geotagged? Um, if you export them, yes. We never touch the original images, but you can export all the panoramas with embedded XMP data. And 
uh, also like direction heading we add uh, tags for uh, Facebook and and Google etc so it's like yeah you can thank you Hey Thomas, um, the new floor plan, sorry, um, the new floor ah. plan tool <laughs> looks really cool. Um, it, does it work on multiple levels? Yes, Brilliant. I forgot to mention this. Yeah. Okay. You can add as many floor plans as you want, Amazing. multiple levels. You can also have the nodes, a single node on multiple levels. So for example, the staircase is to interconnect different floor plans and the floor plans will, floor plan tool will always switch to the most appropriate level, so if you have other ways to go to a different node, the floor plans also will switch automatically. Uh, Ulf Beischlag, I would have two questions. One is, uh, the tours which you are generating, are they hosted or are you providing them as an HTML5? Um, this is, um, we don't do hosting, those are all HTML5 files on your hard disk, so you get a, a huge output folder with all the images and JavaScript files, then you have to host it yourself. Okay. The second question I have is so how, how are you handling all the, the difficulties currently with the Google API stability problems and, and the yeah. things disappearing and coming up that you don't expect? Hmm? Uh, what, what's the question? What, what, how, <laughs> sorry. how are you handling all the difficulties I, with the I, Google I, API? I, Do you have a like, I, I, direct I, I, connection to them uh, to th that you get yeah. quick responses I, on all I, the problems? I, I write emails to your neighbor and at some point they get handled like neighbor sitting next to you. <laughs> and he will take care of them eventually. <laughs> now at the moment, uh, as I understand it, they, um, change over the old projects to the new API and at some point hopefully this gets more stable and more predictable. But <laughs> uh, when you pull the panoramas on the floor plan, you link them. Are there then suggestions for hotspots or do you have them? Um, yes, there are ghost hotspots. So um, if we have a uh, location, you will also have the ghost hotspots. Any more questions? Okay. All right. Are you planning to add uh, direct hotspots for moving video? Um, the hotspots at the moment work, uh, but they are stable. At some point, you may also add moving hotspots, but it's not version 6, maybe 6.1 or something. All right, is that it? So I do believe we have a break now. Thanks a lot, Thomas. That was great. Thanks.